Hi, Max Katz with Upgrade that I here, and in this session, I want to cover a few other advanced features when you're working with uh, REST uh, API services. So this is the app that uh, we built um, in a previous lesson uh, that uh, uses Twilio API to send messages. And what I did is that I added uh, a service which saves a message into a database. So basically, when the button is clicked, we will use Twilio to send the SMS message, and we would also like to save the message into the uh, database. So how would you do that? Well, I already got the service. It was automatically generated because I'm using the Apri.io database. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to go to data, and I'm going to add the service, and then we can rename it. So it looks something like this. Of course, I need to do the mapping, but that's um, we can do that later. Um, now, once I have the service, you might want to do the following: is to go back here and on button click, um, you just add another service invocation to save the message. Um, but that's um, uh, will not work, and that's because JavaScript is asynchronous. In other words. Um, when you send the uh, invoke the send SMS service, right, and it might take a few seconds for the service to complete, the execution is simply going to go to the next service, which is the database, saving into a database. And what might happen is that the database service is invoked even before the send SMS is, is, is done. And then you're not going to have the data that you need to save it into a database. So to solve this problem, we need to Instead of invoking the, the database uh, save service from here, we're going to go back to data and we're going to open send SMS. And basically what we're going to say is that uh, once the SMS has been successfully sent, and that's a success event or a success uh, callback, we would like to then save the uh, message into a database. And to do that, we just select add and then scroll down, select invoke service and add message. So this is where you want to give them names so it's um, so it's easier to know which service you want to add so you don't by mistake click send SMS again. So add message and click save. So basically our flow is now we're going to send the message and we're going to display the message on the page then we're going to display a, uh, an alert saying message was sent and then we're going to invoke the service. So this is fine but probably you want to do it this way you want to just change the order and you can just drag and drop these uh, these boxes. All right, so this is the right way to do it when you have two services and you need to ensure the order is correct. So again, first we send the SMS and only, only if the service has successfully uh, completed or sent the message, only then we're going to invoke the save message. All right, so that's for uh, execution and if you have multiple services. Uh, another thing I want to do is um, to show you is right here. So this is a service that I generated and uh, which talks to the operator database and you'll probably see that uh, I have a placeholder here, database URL and I also have a placeholder uh, right here in the header parameters, database ID. So I'm wondering where the data is actually coming from. Well, if we go back to settings right here it says settings. So actually that information is retrieved from a settings service, which is right here. The settings service is very simple. It's just a, basically a property file with a name and the value, and you can add a description as well. But what's nice about this is that if you have multiple services that use the same information, um, and if you set it up this way, you don't have to, if you need to make a change in the future, you can make a change only here you don't have to update each service, right? So again, if you have five or six services, if you need to change the ID, you can only do it in one place. So let's quickly see how we can update our Twilio service to do that. And this is our Twilio service. And again, we already have a settings file, but it's uh, very easy to create a new one. And we can say Twilio settings, and you want to create, uh, select the settings option. And now we're going to add two parameters, count said, and we're also going to add what we 
we can delete this one. All right, and now the actual values we're going to get, so and the auth token. All right, so this is the token right here. All right, now. Um, so we're going to save and now we're going to go back here. So now we're going to select the file and settings, otherwise it's not going to work. And now we can make changes here. So we don't need this anymore. And also this. And using curly brackets, so this is account and this is auth token. And of course you also have the same thing right here. Um, and so we want to Set it here as well. All right. Um, and again, so if you're multiple services, if you're using multiple um, services from Twilio, and again, if you change the account, uh, then you can easily do it in just one place. All right. So, um, and of course, we can test it. Uh, let's go back here. Let's enter a number. Using and click test and oh um, you can see that there's actually a, a echo mode that we set up before um, so let's actually uh, turn off the echo mode and go back to testing and you can see that now we're actually testing the, the actual service. So um, we just had to turn off uh, echo mode. All right, so again, this is again a very nice feature uh, to use once you have multiple, multiple services.